Okay, this is the start of, well, how to toxins. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the freezer, that's right beside the heater. You're not going to want to touch the heater yet. Uh, screwdriver to open the maintenance hinge. Uh, crowbar to take the machine apart. Then you screwdriver on the machine board again. As you can see, freezer, screwdriver it, it is now a heater. Then you're going to want to put the well, screwdriver back away, grab out your wrench, and you're going to want to move this heater to down here. Also, remove the pipe right below it, where you should probably will be standing like this. Just move those for simplicity. Okay. Open up the rapid piping device, change to manifold. The one that points in the up direction will go into both sides. And you're just going to put that there. And just get the rest of the freezer parts. Well, parts in previous heater. And you're going to want to move them to construct the now heater on here. You're going to want to set the heater to 374 Kelvin. This is in Kelvin, just so just set it to 374. Open both manual valves. Oh, bit of space lag. Yeah, that's kind of normal. Hmm. There. Okay, open the interior airlock. Maximize both pumps. Then you can start putting oxygen in. Now, while one of those oxygen tanks is being at canisters is being added. Go to well. It doesn't matter when you do this. Just make sure you do this before you start the fire. You want to change the filters from carbon dioxide to tritium, and range to expanded. This means you'll be only getting tritium, which is what you want. So just continue to swap out the air canisters. Well, the oxygen canisters. And once they start blinking red, you can take them off. That means they've pretty much put almost uh, everything they have in them in. After you put three in, I'm going to want to grab a plasma canister. Set the pump to 50 kPa. Because you want to add plasma slowly. Now, before you add the plasma, you have to make sure you've done everything else. Is the heater set to 374 Kelvin? You're going to want to put an air pump on here. I'm going to make sure both manual valves are open. This pump needs to be 50 kPa again. The output still needs to be maxed. And make sure you're still scrubbing tritium on expanded and just tritium. Now, it's safe to add the plasma. They ignite like a few seconds after. Again, heater 374 Kelvin the air pump on. If all this is done correctly, you should start getting tritium. It'll take a bit of time to burn, so for that time, you're going to start getting the other part, all the other stuff you need in the tank, of 374 Kelvin oxygen. There, I'm not going to use that. Put that there. That there. On oxygen. Just so it only puts the oxygen in the top of there. You could also use the, uh, well, the gas mixer, but I find that this is this way just gets more oxygen. You don't really need that much oxygen. It doesn't really matter which way you do it either. Get oxygen in there, attach to that, and set to 374 kelp. Wondering why the doors are open, and I'm not actually a scientist this round, so I just hacked the doors. It doesn't really matter. Works fine anyways. No wait. Uh, someone just asked me not to make bombs. Well. Okay, so put this on. For that time, 
So now you're going to want to get a air scrubber. I just move it over here for ease of access later. And a plasma canister. Now because of the thermal mass update, you have to add a bit of plasma to your tritium. So get a, well, it doesn't really matter. You're going to need one uh, plasma tank, and I'll just use an oxygen tank for ease. So you can tell which one is which. The plasma tank, you're not going to want to change it at all. You're going to want to put it in there, just fresh from the rack, so it's still got that bit of plasma that's in it at the start. And then you're just going to want to turn it to out and max on the air pump. And then you're going to want to do this. Just keep in mind, if you don't use air pumps and you use canisters, you won't actually be able to do this pretty much at all. Air pumps are what you're going to want to use for filling tanks. So that's why they are housing the final gas part. Yep, so you're going to you're going to want like a, about 5% plasma, 95% tritium. And this oxygen canister, it's uh, got a bit... The oxygen inside of it is not at 374 Kelvin, so if you were just add 374 Kelvin oxygen, the final would be less than 374 Kelvin, so it wouldn't work for the bomb. So I just use a air scrubber to empty it. So, well, as you can see, just open up the air scrubber, I'll filter this to oxygen, turn it on, then of course when this pressure reaches zero, turn it off, then eject. You're turned off before ejecting, otherwise you're going to start scrubbing oxygen out of the room, and you don't want that because you need oxygen to breathe and not die while doing this. And then put that now empty oxygen tank in to the portable air pump. Uh, set it to max. In, turn it on. Then eject. Make sure you turn it off before ejecting it, otherwise you're going to ruin your mix, and you're not going to be able to make any more bombs. I'll just use a timer because it's a bit simpler here. The screwdriver, the timer, uh, and then just pick up the timer, press on the TTV, click on the TTV, that's pretty much all you need to do. No, TTV for tank transfer valve. As it says, it just regulates the mix of gases between two tanks. I want to wait for this to get down to around three, 374 Kelvin. It doesn't really matter if it's exact or not. Yeah, 300. It's fine there. Just going to max in, turn it on. Make sure you turn it off before ejecting the, the tank again. Otherwise, you're going to mess up that mix and you're not going to be able to make any more bombs. So then I'm just going to analyze it. As you can see, 2.37 mole of plasma. 54.17 mole of tritium. That is a good mix. However, it's always good to, before you use your bomb, just to check them both again. So as you can see, 374 Kelvin, 100% oxygen at 57 mole. So that's good. And then in here, a bit over 374, that is fine. Again, you just can't be below 374. The actual temperature is 374.15, which is 100 Celsius in here, but it doesn't really matter. Just 374, I usually set it to. You could set it to 373.16, but in case if you're a tiny bit off or something else, sometimes beyond just glitches out. It's better just to be safe and make sure your bomb will actually explode. The point difference from, like, less than, well, less than... A single degree of temperature is not much. So once this works, do not press this valve status open. Well, valve status closed open. This will kill you, and will probably end up with you getting blanked. So the valve attachments timer. Make sure you're clicking on that. They're really close. So I've had accidents before. Don't want to do that now. Bef before this, actually, what you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want. To Make sure that the Tachin Doppler research array is pointing in the right direction. And it's got a little arrow right here that should be pointing in the right direction. If it's not, uh, wrench it, alt click it, and it'll turn it around. In this case, we want it to face the east. Turn on the intercom right beside it, which means that people will actually know it explodes. Uh, this isn't necessary, but it's kind of a way of also bragging that you're able to make such a big bomb. Uh, Metastation, and I think a few, I forget which, 
I, I think is the only one that actually has it right next to it. So you might just have to wrench it, move it. It doesn't really matter if you do this or not. I just prefer to. Then timer. Now I, the timer is in beyond sec is goes in beyond seconds, so it's usually a bit more. Plus the bomb takes about a second to detonate after the TTV opens. So you're just gonna again press on the timer, open it, start timing, and you can just wait until it makes sure it's actually going. As you can see it reached four seconds. Fire this. You don't have to hurry with this, just don't be slow. And then MetaStation is the only station with these where these actually work. The uh, cameras. As you can see, it went exploded, made a lot of points. This is what you want. Now, finally, again, 374 Kelvin with 2 mole of plasma and the rest tritium. And then 374 Kelvin oxygen.